Now the attack by Iran on Israel in response to the airstrikes on the Iranian embassy in Damascus on the 1st of April, it's evoked strong global reactions. UN Chief Antonio Guterres strongly condemned the attack on Israel, has called for an immediate cessation of hostilities, warning that neither the region nor the world can afford another war. The UN Security Council, it's called an emergency meeting scheduled at 8 p.m. GMT today to discuss the attack. The meeting comes at the behest of Jilad Erdan, the Israeli ambassador to the United Nations. Israel has request, requested the council designate the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist organization. U.S. President Joe Biden has taken to social media platform X, stating that he has met with his national security team for an update on Iran's strike. Biden has doubled down on the United States' ironclad commitment to Israel's security against threats from, iron, uh, from Iran and potential proxies in the region. Now, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has termed the act unjustifiable, highly irresponsible. Scholz has warned Iran that it risks further escalation and has also confirmed that Germany is in conversation with its G7 allies as the situation develops. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has also strongly condemned the strikes as reckless and risking inflaming tensions and destabilizing the region. Prime Minister Sunak has gone further to state that this attack once again demonstrates Iran's intent on sowing chaos in its own backyard. Much like his American counterpart, the British Prime Minister has also doubled down on the UK's support for Israel's security, along with regional partners such as Jordan and Iraq. Condemnation over Iran's escalations are also coming in from other Western allies such as Canada, Spain, Norway, France, Italy, Netherlands, Denmark and the Czech Republic. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.